PUBG is a game where 100 people drop onto a map and the last person standing wins. It's, it's just a battle royale game. It's like Fortnite, but less colorful. I've always found the game really interesting, but also it's probably the game that I am worst at, which is saying a lot because I'm bad at all games. So I decided to ratchet strap myself to my chair and live stream until I get a win, because that way I can say that, hey, actually I'm not too bad. I got a win in PUBG. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic. I'm going to be honest. I feel a little bit panicky right now. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm already uncomfortable. It would be pretty funny if I won on the first game. Every firefight, we're one step closer to getting this strap off. Oh, hell yeah. I actually got that shot. I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm actually not doing bad. There's only three left. What if I actually win this? Brick. <laughs> That was a good start. The first match on stream and I got third place. I was feeling good. Just a few more and I was certain that this pretty silly challenge could be over and I could just continue the stream as usual for the rest of the night. Oh my god. Um, what are you doing? PUBG is one of the slowest paced games I've played, but it is anything but calm. You can easily go 15 to 20 minutes without even entering a single firefight, and every single one of those minutes is so stressful. And then, right when you least expect it, you get instantly killed by a single shot from someone that you didn't even know was on the map. And then you die and get to do it all over again. Alright, I need to heal. Oh my god, I missed. I mean, I missed every single shot. Around the 90 minute mark, I wasn't seeing much progress as my beginner's luck began to wear off. Ah! <laughs> oh, no! oh my god, I thought I did it. Four pounds from Green Book Reclaim. Oh, my life just flashed before my eyes. I thought landing would be the easy part. <laughs> Fun fact, my arms are about to fall off. Well, both my arms falling off would be good content. Oh no! Oh my god! Well, like anything in life, practice and repetition did start to make a noticeable difference. Look, normally I don't hit people with my car, but I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> but all it took was one look into my eyes to realize that I was getting really really tired and by six hours i was feeling not only the exhaustion but the physical pain of being strapped to my chair for the love of god just die is it really that much to ask for oh my god one shot and i'm dead i'm doing worse i think because i'm getting tired i do need to pee couldn't like reach the toilet so i had to be in the shower but it's fine <laughs> this might just be the win i'm feeling it mr krabs there's gotta be something in here right oh <laughs> i didn't fit in the toilet okay and i don't have a powerful enough stream to reach that far all right <laughs> oh i wholeheartedly thought it would be less than four hours is that a ramp oh <laughs> i actually made it no, that's fine, that's fine. No, that's fine. It'll buff out. Where did my tire go? <laughs> I have one HP, man! <laughs> oh no, man! <laughs> Every loss of one number of my social security. Oh, sh- What? What? There goes my tire.
What does that beat sound? What's about to happen? <laughs> I'm so sick of doing this. I'm gonna do one more non-casual, and then I might do a casual. And with that, at the seven hour mark, I switched from normal mode to casual mode. Normal is 100 real players, casual is 10 real players and 90 bots, which are easier to play against. However, PUBG only gives you three casual games per 24 hours, so I had to make them count. God. And this is one of my favorite games, but I'm not enjoying it anymore. <laughs> casual match number one, 10th place. Not bad, but also not a win. Casual match number two, I got hunted by basically the same player for the entirety of the match. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Holy, I actually got him. Oh my god, how? And so I moved on to my final casual match of the day, which was basically my last chance at having a chance. I played it very defensively and conservatively, which meant that the match itself was pretty boring. However, the final top five was one of the most chaotic games that I had had in the entire day. I hear more beeps. Holy, I almost got ran over. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. That's cool. I'm not going all night. My I have a headache. I need to pee again. I already pee. I didn't even tell you. I didn't even. I tried to pee in the shower. It got all over the floor. It's everywhere. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> After eight painful hours, I finally gave up and went to bed. The stream wasn't even fun anymore. Oh! Everyone had already left, basically. People just went to bed. But I was not giving up because I was extending the challenge to day two. So you see, one of the only things keeping me going aside from the encouraging audience was soda. So I figured that a fair compromise would be I'm not gonna be strapped to the chair day two, but I'm not allowed to touch another can of soda until I get a win. Uh, this is game number 24. <laughs> Yesterday was my warm up day. It's the most stressful game I think I've ever played. I think just because the matches are so long. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, alright. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Oh, he's... <laughs> Give me the suck. <laughs> oh. uh. Top 10 yet again. Uh, where did they come from? I've never been much of a team player, which is why I'm glad that PUBG has solo mode, but I figured it was time to go out of my comfort zone and create a PUBG squad. The first member of my team, a stream sniper who kept harassing me during the game and also was a level one because he never played on PC before and also didn't have any pants on. I'm playing with a man in his underwear. We played as a duo, which unfortunately means you have to play in first person instead of third person, and it did not go so well. <laughs> After that abomination, our squad grew by one, thanks to Krista, my Discord friend and channel member, who also downloaded PUBG for the first time on her PC. Now squads are four person teams, there were obviously only three of us, which means we get paired with a random player, and unfortunately most of the time they don't even speak English. No speaking English, no English. He doesn't speak English. <laughs> yes, <talking>. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And so the four of us went into battle, not only for the first time as a squad, but for the first time in the game for some of us. One of which couldn't even figure out how to get in a car. Right, I can't. For my, for our first, I don't know, it's my first ever squad. I don't know about yeah, that wasn't either bad. of you, but it wasn't that bad. We almost made it to the yeah, it was pretty bad. Sorry. Well, how about you come and help us and show how it's done then? Look, okay, I started installing it last night. 
and it still isn't installed. The guy you hear in the background is Ethan, not this Ethan, who has a PC so old it takes him literal hours just to get the game to run. I very quickly realized that squads in PUBG is like a completely different game. You have to learn new dynamics, how to work as a team, and there's a lot of different functions that you can't even use in solo. And all of this would be a lot easier and simply more fun and enjoyable as a full squad so that I didn't have to deal with random players every game. Hello team, does anyone here speak English today? Um, on Tuesdays it's uh, Norwegian, on Wednesdays it's Thai, Thursdays just Jewish. So while we waited for Ethan's caveman potato PC to try and do anything, we continued to play. But just, it was, it, you're not even gonna watch it, it was so sad. Oh <laughs> no. Despite hitting the 12 hour mark, it really felt like we were starting from scratch because it was just so different. And it really felt like we were our own worst enemy. From accidentally running each other over with cars, to accidentally shooting each other in the head. I, I can't film this voiceover even, it's just so funny and sad. We couldn't stop killing each other. <laughs> Happy 12 so hours everyone, woo! Behind. Day two sadly had to come to an end because my squad mates had to go live their lives and I had to sleep. I was doing nothing else. I was in true gamer mode here. No showers, no work. I would just get in bed, get back up and continue playing every single day, including day three. For the first few hours, it was just myself playing solo games and I had clearly improved at the game and I also had no intentions of stopping even though I secretly thought that I was never gonna get another win in my life until something beyond my control happened. The PUBG servers went down for maintenance. So I had to forcibly take a break and I played getting over it instead. After four hours, the servers came back up and P PUBG broke the game. It's, it's, it was, it's so bad after that update. I don't know what they did, but it was constantly freezing and constantly crashing, but my squad was ready. And so we were just gonna try and play anyway. I can't even, I think the game crashed again. Oh my God, I just Crystal, rolled watch out times. breaks. We should not be in here. We're gonna get bombed. This I wanna thing. fill it, I can't. Surely it's in the back, right? I would think. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Oh, no. I didn't have a good on Oh, my God. Oh, no. oh you got hit. Oh, no. <laughs> they have some good aim. Oh, oh my God. They... Day three ended terribly, and going into day four, we really just needed a miracle. One of our squad mates, the stream sniper, was unavailable for the first part of the day, but that miracle just might have been delivered to us in the form of Mr. One Love 420. Mr. One Love 420 was randomly placed with our squad to fill the empty spot, and he just so happened to be a level 500 player, which is the maximum you can achieve in the game. This happy go lucky dude just might have been my way out of this horrendous challenge. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you. I had to go get another industry. <laughs> Bang, Red Bull, what is it? You know what? Bang, bro. Bang and doobies. All day. <laughs> I drink a uses... water milk, you know? But sometimes I just like get a big cup, so I fill up my, with the with the bang and then the rest water. It just tastes good. <laughs> you water down the bang? Yeah. I got to the point where I was just like, I'm just going to put water so I can drink it faster, you know? Because it kind of hurts your stomach, you know what I mean? Yeah, my tummy is ouchy after like two. <laughs> As you heard from Mr. One Love himself, he was hopped up on Bang and Doobies. <laughs> and we jumped into a round together. He immediately recommended that we swim out into the ocean just to get a crate while he watches from overhead from a mountain, which was the first time that I realized, oh my god, this man can be our personal trainer because i never would have thought of doing that you guys can swim to it if you want all right yeah just go out there swim out there and get it and i'm gonna watch it first. i'll watch it back you are taking us to places we have never been <laughs> nice oh i know this whole map like back my hand bro all right we're gonna catch all the ones running in sniper we're going on the sniper go. kill his friend kill his friend you get a kill Oh shit. Oh, shoot. I got you. Yeah, we needed a lot of training. Yeah, I got nice you. guys. <laughs> yeah, these guys are gonna be over here. Alright, let's be ready. Holy, he got you. Yes. 
absolutely obliterating these people. We might actually win. Oh my god, we're the last two teams. I didn't even realize. Get inside the house. We'll get it. I hear beeping. Is that a C4? Get up there. <laughs> oh! Like, oh. Yeah. Just when I thought we had seen it all, Mr. One Love strapped a bomb to a car and drove it into the enemy team. He didn't even give us a warning, he just did it and there were explosions and people dying and we were absolutely blown away. We are making this. Oh, shoot. Damn. But unfortunately it still wasn't enough and we got second place with One Love. But lucky for us, oh thank the heavens, he joined our team. Well, my Irish car bomb didn't work. His ass took off running. <laughs> we passed the 20 hour mark of trying to get a PUBG win, but I didn't even mind because Mr. One Love was dishing out so much valuable information. Game after game after game. So if I was running a shotgun and a sniper rifle, for instance, that scorpion would be excellent to keep up with a sidearm. No, no, reload, reload. Don't forget to reload. Okay, they're gonna see think he's shooting. So they're gonna probably go, don't shoot yet, don't shoot, don't shoot, trust me. Nice, nice. Single shot, push B. It's a single shot. Oh, GG. It's right. Next, next game. I think you guys know what the blue zones mean, right? Like, no, not, not the. No, 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 not, not the one that kills it. Like on the map, there's nowhere else to go. Like, like you're just gonna keep running. And there's rocks. Stand on top of a rock, or when you're shooting their your machine gun, you have it on full auto. You're gonna want to drag your mouse down. Slightly, you'll feel, you'll feel it when you're getting it to stabilize your recoil. Let's let Spaceman land it. It reminds me of Driver's Ed, where you all take turns getting in the driver's seat, and then he's just sitting in the passenger seat. And then go down to the oh gas. Oh my gosh! And I think he's a freaking right genius. Here. We could not figure that out to save our lives. So when you pull up somewhere, you cut your engine before you get there, and then you can have a like coat so you really far. You see how high that plane is? That's an emergency drop, bro. It's an emergency airdrop plane. POV, you've been kidnapped by a level 500, but you're kind of into it. <laughs> While we still didn't have a win, we were able to get every question we had answered and got literal hours of expert advice from Mr. One Love. Oh yeah, not to mention, we had some much needed comedic relief for not only ourselves, but the audience watching, because he was just hilarious. It's, I'm not answering right away. It's because it's still trying to, it's loading. I have an older <laughs> version, Alienware. And her name's Sheila. Okay, I'm not talking about you, baby. I have a fan <laughs> next to her. Pull her down, because she gets overheated. She's, she's old. Oh, do I... little horsey. <laughs> Flashbang party. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> no, sorry, Sudar. I didn't see your name. I didn't see you were a girl. Sometimes I play with like little kids that sound like women. Mr. One Love would screw around, flashbang us for fun, spend 10 minutes during a match talking about his outfits, have us stand in the middle of airstrikes because it looks cool, and overall just take absolutely nothing seriously and yet still absolutely dominate at the game. Oh. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> so okay, that do? was actually impressive. Sometimes it catches you right all the way up the wall. It's funny. Oh, bro. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Holy. Where do you guys want to go? We gotta go close, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Sometimes I forget to put a helmet on, so you guys, if you don't see me with the helmet, remind me. <laughs> yeah, I've learned more in this round than I have in my 300 matches total. <laughs> Let me tell you about community market. It's so cool, guys. Now, I don't think Mr. One Love was playing with the goal to get a win today. After all, I never told him about the challenge or that I was streaming. I just was really enjoying getting to see him in his natural environment and getting an organic experience with him. But with that said, it became pretty clear what one of the missing keys was. And that was that we needed to chill out. We were getting so stressed out, so tired, taking this so seriously, grinding every single minute, that we kind of forgot that we just gotta chill and enjoy our surroundings, see what we can explore, and treat it like the game that it is. Now, I hate to blame software or hardware when it comes to games. However, the servers were so bad, we were constantly disconnecting to the point it was even getting Mr. One Love killed. Because when your screen freezes for five seconds, you're completely helpless. I don't have a bright yellow light on. <laughs> it's like you're going hunting. <laughs> oh, shoot. Damn! 
What time is it? Give me a second. I'm gonna eat lunch real quick. And then I'm, I'll be back on a little bit. Alright? But unfortunately, he never returned from that lunch. We played a few more random matches and eventually reunited with our full squad of four. But of course, we continued to lose the matches. Ethan then took a break so that he could update the drivers on his computer, which means we had to match with a random yet again. This time it was Juan, who was a brand new level 8 player. And of course, he did not speak English when communication is the key at having a chance when playing squads. So should we wait for you? I don't mind waiting. For the next game? No, no, don't wait. Play Kahoot when we get a win, okay? So we're never playing Kahoot. Wow. We're probably, you were the we're one with the confidence. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna, nah, we're gonna win. We got pretty close. We got this. We're gonna play Kahoot next round. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Krista, pull up Kahoot right now, because this round, you guys are winning. <laughs> We've got the moon going, so we just gotta keep closing in. The moon refers to the crescent moon method taught to us by Mr. One Love 420. Normally, when two squads are fighting, you're going to be kind of bunched together just shooting at each other back and forth. But if one of you take the dominant position of spreading out, you get multiple angles to attack the other team, meaning that they're vulnerable not only to throwables like grenades, but also multiple angles of firefight from the opposing team. As we learn through experience, the high ground is always a benefit, but sometimes you don't get it like in this case. The opposing team was all bunched in the same position, and we can each take shots from different angles and slowly move in, shrinking the moon until the team is eliminated. Oh sh and sorry. The challenge is to win. That that is all the motivation I need now. Oh yes, yeah. let's go, I got him. It's just so right. irritating just, at this it's, point. It's, it's, There's no point in making it a challenge. Winning is enough. Literally, so we just we just want to win so bad. I can't see them, but it's Here, gotta be coming go. from your way, Alex. The street. Don't mind the grenade, it's me. Oh, oh. Here, I'll pick you up. So right here. Oh, you can safe. carry people? I didn't know that. It's so wholesome. We gotta get out of here. We can't get a good vision. Oh, yep. Um, we're dead. I think that yeah. vehicle's drivable back there, that red one. Christy, you should probably uh, heal. Even if we don't win this one, this round has gone well. Alright, we're all good. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Actually, maybe I could try going for it. Oh, I see someone. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna head down. I think we need to all be facing different directions. Yeah, I'll go super south and then one of you can go part, like somewhat south. Oh, I got hit twice. There's literally only two more people to kill. This is, this could be it. <laughs> oh, there's only two people? Yeah, because four of them were us. All right, I knocked one out. So there's only there's these more. two. I should just rush them, right? Come on. Guys, we, we might get our- I got one knocked down, so. Yeah. Hey. Where are they? Yeah, keep going. Nice, keep going. They should both be knocked down. I'll throw the grenade. Oh shoot, there's one left. Oh, Let's thank go. God. Oh, oh my, my God. We did it. <laughs> you guys did it? Yeah, let's go. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. There's no, oh my goodness. It's over. It took 26 hours and 23 minutes. <laughs> Drink that so soda, good. Alex. Drink that Thank soda. <laughs> Yeah! Chug it, chug it, chug it. Oh, this oh was the most God, painful it, and Alex. most rewarding stream like experience. I have to edit 27 I hours. Count my note. I've only played a couple games without you. That's interesting, because nothing felt particularly special about that. We're just screwing around, oh. waiting for Ethan's computer to not die. <laughs> oh, Juan sent me a friend request. Oh, I'm so relieved. Like, I don't even think the stream understands how relieved we all are <laughs> right now. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the rest of my life, was just playing PUBG. Now I'm kind of uh, sad, because now what? I didn't get to win with you guys. Let's just, like, eject immediately. Let's go. Oh, this looks like a good spot right here. All that tasty 5.56. Five, five, All right, I've got a good loadout. All right, let's go. Wait, why are you running towards him? So I can kill him? Spawn. Uh, they're all over. Hi behind the Ah, uh, run! Yeah. Oh, no! Where are they coming from? What the heck? 
Where were they? I'm gonna go to Chris Stitch, you can handle him, I'll heal. Oh uh, no, my armor broke. Yeah. Okay, there's a guy uh, over in those houses towards 80. I am. Oh, oh, they're behind. behind. Yeah. Wait, come help me out. Yeah. My gun does not have the range. He, he must be by himself. Yeah, there are definitely people in those houses. Watch out. Does anyone have any uh, rocket launcher ammo? Wait, there's one guy. Oh. Oh, oh I see uh, him. Uh, are we gonna get? Are we gonna get the second one of the night? Ethan, you should heal. You're, you're literally one shot. Ethan, you should heal. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Let's Holy! Go. <laughs> no. Holy crap! We got two. How did we go from like? Super struggling. <laughs> yeah. I can't hear that frying pan. That is actually Should've impressive. We all did good too. Team now. That is awesome. My, <laughs> I had a horrible gun. And after that, we played some celebratory PUBG. I'm gonna die one day, and at my funeral, you guys are gonna crash cars into each other. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we did it. After 26 hours, we got not one, but two wins, which was much more than I could have asked for. I also accomplished my second mission because after doing nothing but this for four days, I feel like I can finally say I am good at this video game. Initially, we were so sad when Mr. One Love wouldn't come back to help us get a win, but in the end, we're all extremely happy that he left because it just would not have felt the same if we got carried to a win. Instead, the first win was with a brand new player who played along great and he was a great teammate, but to me, the second win just ever so slightly takes the cake. Not only because it was just the four of us, but also because we were so casual about it. And no, it was not a casual match. We did not win the casual matches, but we went from hyper-analyzing our drop spot to Ethan just saying, eh, let's just drop now. And also I was eating a hot dog the whole round, which I find kind of funny. Getting the tips, ideas, and just emotional support from people in the chat, and also Mr. One Love, of course, was great, but nothing really compares to simply building a dynamic between your squad mates. You pick up each other's strengths and weaknesses and you fill in the gaps where they belong. Each person almost naturally becomes in charge of certain tasks, not to mention you just get to know people pretty well when you talk to them for 8 to 10 hours a day every single day. And while I thought I'd be completely sick of this game, believe it or not, we've all been playing PUBG almost every day. We basically just play bumper cars for 10 or 15 minutes, explore the map, see what we find, screw around while people are trying to snipe us. And then when we're ready, we get into serious mode and see how far we can get. Getting in the top 10 is pretty much a given, and we have won another game since recording this video. Now, this really was a torturous experience, but it did come out as my favorite live stream experience and probably one of my favorite video game experiences as well. The same goes for editing this video. It was actual torture and it took forever, but it was super fun. And this is one of, if not my favorite video that I've made in a very long time. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I would love to do more. Uh, I don't know if it's an event. I don't know what it is. I'd love to do more stuff like this in the future. Probably not PUBG wins. I'll still stream it for sure, but it, yeah, I don't know. If you have ideas, let me know. So thanks so much if you tuned into the live stream chat. Mr. One Love was a great tutor. Thanks to PUBG for having some of the absolute worst servers known to mankind because it was actual torture trying to get us all. We, we were crashing the whole time. I won't get into it, but that, that'll be it uh, for this pretty long video. Make sure to have the EMT gear so that you can revive me five times. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, those crispy Brussels sprouts. I love carrots. I love me too. Uh, carrots are so good. I like and broccoli. Sam. I like broccoli. I'm not little, <laughs> all right. You almost <laughs> sent us all into the river. That was so almost. <laughs> a lot of things almost happen. <laughs> Let's go into the zone and maybe they'll stop. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs>